today what we're gonna be doing is we're going to try and eat a deer heart. I have never eaten a deer heart. I've killed a lot of deer, but I've never tried their organs. I usually just give them away, but I was told that it's really good, so I wanna try it for myself. So a little bit of context here. My buddy is a state trooper, and I told him to give me a call or put me on the list or whatever so that I could get a call about any roadkill deer that he got that he think would be salvageable for me. And he called me the other day in the morning, and uh, he said that he had a deer that was killed about 10 minutes before he called me, and it didn't look in too bad of shapes. And uh, the only problem is is that these deer are being hit on the highway. So the problem is obviously the speed of the vehicle and everything else. This particular one ran into the side of a pickup truck. So that's where we're going to start off, guys. I'm on the way to uh, pick up this deer. All right, guys, pulled over. I found the deer. There she is. It's like a small doe. Oh no, a little button butt. I'm gonna wait for him to give me the tag and then we'll get back to the house. Alrighty guys, got the deer out of the truck and back to the house. We're gonna start uh, skinning them and getting that meat cooled off and breaking down all the useful quarters that aren't destroyed from the accident. He did hit a truck in the side of the truck like head on, so I don't think we're gonna be able to get much off the neck and possibly those front quarters. But we're gonna get what we can off of him. It's a lot better than seeing him go to a bird or to a coyote or something like that. Uh, so we will get whatever's useful off the deer. But we do have to start breaking this deer down because it is about 70 degrees out here today and we don't want him to go bad. So I'm gonna get to that and I'll show you guys once he's all broken down and cleaned up. It is now the next day guys and I was able to get about three gallon sized bags of meat. It had uh, what looked like a good amount of meat but when I got inside a lot of it was really uh, bloodied up and everything. So didn't get too much off of it but hey it's a lot better than seeing it go to total waste. I mean they're just gonna sit on the side of the highway like many of the rest of them and uh, just go to the coyotes and the birds totally. So we did get some meat off of them. I'll show you that here in a second. And uh, I got it quartered out and skinned down and everything, the silver skin, at least to the point that I like it off of it. And uh, now we're just gonna be packaging it up, slicing it and everything like that. We're also gonna be cooking that heart. That's the main point of this video. I've never had it before. I think it's gonna be good. I've been told it's good. I got a little recipe from a buddy, something real simple, real easy to make. So we'll give it a shot here and uh, see how it goes. All right guys, we are gonna start with these back straps. As you can see, pretty much all cleaned up for the most part. All I'm gonna do is actually just package these pretty much whole. I don't see uh, much of a need to cut them into slices for what I want, because usually I'll just slice them up or, it just gives more options if you put them in there uh, as a whole and also they fit in the bag quite nice too, so. Get those all ready to go. All right, and now as you can tell, my food saver is pretty new, but this thing actually works pretty good. I really like it. Uh, it helps if the meat's like a little bit drier. So if you have like really wet fish or like squid or something like that, it doesn't work so well. Probably because I'm not using it right, but with deer meat and everything, this thing works awesome. That's good stuff, guys. As you can see, it, get, it gets a really nice seal when uh, when doing like venison and steaks and stuff like that. Uh, it's just the fish that kind of gives me a tough time, but like I said, if I actually did it the right way, it probably would work a lot better. But anyways, yeah, there's one package right there, back straps, way better than feeding the, uh, the birds and the coyotes. Okay, next up, we have uh, some steaks.
Alright guys, I got all these steaks diced up here how I like them. Uh, the nice thing about doing it on your own is that you can kind of prepare it how you want it and you know exactly how you're doing it. So, uh, whatever makes you happy with this, you know. Check out all these steaks, guys. That's what I got off the deer. Um, obviously, it's not as good as like deer season would be where you get, you know, 43 to 50% yield off the animal, but... Hey, this is free meat for the freezer. It was a little bit of work, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. That's going to be a lot of good meals. So here's the main point of interest for this video, I guess, and that is the heart of the deer. I watched a couple videos and talked to some people on how to clean it up and all that stuff. So let's get a closer look and get to it. Okay, so I hope you guys can see this all right, but uh, here's the heart up close. And pretty much what we have to do is get rid of all this white stuff and uh, everything that isn't actual meat. Any stringy stuff, anything like that, that uh, really doesn't belong in the frying pan. So I got it all cleaned up here. Uh, looks pretty clean to me. I guess the key to that is just use a real sharp knife and uh, work slow because there was a lot of little stringy white stuff in there and I was told get rid of it. I guess maybe I should have thought of that with the turkey heart that I ate, but I don't know, the turkey heart must have had some of that stuff in there too and it tasted fine. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a different cutting board and start preparing some onions and then uh, we're gonna get this in the pan. This is gonna cook super fast is what I'm told. So. Uh, we're gonna cook the onions for a little bit, simmer those down, and then add this in and go from there. The mushrooms come pre-cut. Just waiting for those mushrooms and onions to start cooking up a bit, and uh, I just wanted to say, this heart actually does look really good. I just put through some salt on it, I'm going to add some pepper, and then we're just going to butter it up and throw it in a pan. But uh, that meat actually looks really, really good. It almost looks as good as the back strap, so it'll be interesting to see how this tastes. Just some butter in the pan. Got some salt on the uh, heart here. Should be a pretty hot pan. I kind of want to get some black on the outside of it, but I'm also not going to be cooking it very long at all. So. I'm just showing you this so that you can see the color that I cooked it to. It looks pretty accurate on the camera for the most part, but I'm not sure if that's too rare for a heart or too uh, overcooked for a heart, but it, it tastes good to me. It's definitely a different consistency from other meats, but there's no like chewiness to it at all. It's almost like a, I don't want to say spongy, but kind of like that. It, it's got like a, a little bit of resistance to it, but, but not in the manner that it's like overcooked or something, you know what I mean? So anyways, it tastes really good. I'm going to get some onions and... Uh, mushrooms on it here and give it another shot try some of these bigger pieces okay that is actually absolutely freaking delicious guys that's like as good as a backstrap or a tenderloin or any other uh you know prize cut of meat there i'm really impressed with how it tastes actually you can see the rare cuts of uh heart in there mixed in with the mushrooms and everything i think i cooked it right i, I could have undercooked it a little bit but it doesn't bother me so i'm pretty happy with it i guess that's the joy of cooking it yourself from a roadkill deer we got a good amount of meat off it. I'm pretty happy. I've had some really good ones where it's like no damage was done to them at all. But when they come off the highway there, it's kind of expected to have, you know, some sort of damage considering the cars and everything are going about 75, 80 miles an hour probably when they hit them. So 
Anyways, uh, I'm glad that we were able to get some meat off this deer. I'm glad that we were able to try a deer heart. Hunting season's still about four months away, so we would have been waiting a little while on that. Anyways, guys, if you have the opportunity to try a deer heart, I know it's not everybody's uh, thing, but if you do have the opportunity, I would highly suggest that you give it a shot. I thought it was pretty good. If you guys want to see the video where I clean and eat a wild turkey heart, I'll link that down in the description below, and it'll also be at the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to check out some of the other videos that I've recently made on this channel. And also hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos from me in the future. I appreciate you guys watching. Remember, live free, fish more.